Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you a book I have on calculus. It's called Treatise on Integral Calculus and this one is by Edwards. It is volume 2 and it's an older book. I'm just going to give it a whiff here. Mm, it smells pretty good. So in this short video we're just going to take a brief look at the contents and just talk about this book. This book might be free because it's so old so it might be in the public domain. And this is volume two, as you can see, a treatise on the integral calculus with applications, examples, and problems by Joseph Edwards M.A. Cool, right? Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the condition of this book. It's in excellent condition. 1922, first edition. The remarkable progress made in recent years in the theory of general functions has revolutionized the method of treatment of many of the higher branches of pure mathematics. Cool. Let's look at the contents. The contents are pretty intense. Wait till you see this. This is volume two. So there's another volume. It's volume one. This is a treatise. So it has a lot of mathematics, right? They don't, they don't write math books like this anymore. Look at this. Wow, right? Very different. Uh, you, don't see, you don't see stuff like this. I mean, they actually have like the actual integrals and then you have like the page numbers, it's fun. So different types of integrals here. Let's turn the page over here so we can see what else we have. Wow, contour integration, elliptic integrals and functions. So a lot, a lot of advanced stuff that, you know, calculus of variations, yeah, you don't find this in basic calculus books. So, and this is, this is volume two, right? So. Look at this, answers, 966 to 974. Let, let's go there. Let's go to the answers. Let me be careful here. There you see you have answers in the back. Now, not, not everything has an answer, but it's kind of impressive, right, that a book such as this would have answers. Yeah, hardcore stuff. Let's go to the beginning and, and see how it starts. So... If you were to just pick up this book and start from the beginning. Now, again, this is volume two, so. And this book, again, is probably free. I'll try to leave a link in the description if I can find any copies. So here it ends here. So here we go. Change a variable in the multiple in a multiple integral. So that's where it starts, right? Right away. Not for the faint of heart. Anyways, so I wanted to quickly show you this book from my collection. It's an older one that I picked up a while ago. Um, yeah, take care.